Well, good evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. Davis's ring walk. He just exudes confidence, carrying himself like a champion. Diaz making his way to the ring right now, flanked by his cornermen, and just an overall feeling that they're not exactly hyped up for this one. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Here we go. Opening stanza of this 12-round fight. <laughs> what does the orthodox fighter have to be conscious of of guarding against that right hook? from the southpaw. I mean, he's got his left hand out there, but a non-traditional defensive structure for him being set up like that. Yeah, absolutely. He has to remember that that punch will come from that angle, and usually he has no danger coming from that angle. So he has to make sure when he jabs, that shoulder is up against his chin. So if the hook does come, it hits the shoulder, not the chin. He clinches when he gets to the inside. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Let it go. Nice strike after catching one by Davis. Halfway through this round here. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. That's it. Go, go, go. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. In and out, in and out. Unable to land clean by Garcia. Thunder's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Magnifico. Tremendous pace being set early on here between these two. Can't see this fight going the distance with this pace. No, not unless something changes, like moving their heads a little bit. Good step back counter punch there. Last 10 seconds of this first round. This round comes to an end, and Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit. 
making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. Keep this guy off balance. Keep your hands moving. Here we go. Round two is underway. That was a miss by Davis. Not much action as he just ties up. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Davis. Side to side, move your head. Able to show you his blocking ability. Davis is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Would you rather have a fighter who's feared or a fighter who's fearless? I feel like I'm talking to Sonny from the Bronx Tale, but I think that I would rather have a guy that has fear because he's going to be smart all the time. He's going to be a guy that's going to be aware of things that you need to be aware of. If he's so-called fearless, he's going to walk into all kinds of things that are not going to allow him to be a fighter. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Get out of the way from the function. Move your head, buddy. Able to cover up that gut. <laughs> Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Left hand upstairs. Keep it going. A headshot blocked. Garcia is in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. Oh, keep your feet moving. Final ten seconds of round number two. A little defense turns to offense by Magnifico. Now here's a perfect example of where you can actually see confidence growing in a fight. He was able to stun his man in that last round, and you just get a sense that he's a bigger, better fighter than he was before. I agree with you, Joe. You, it's the accumulation of damage that's starting to get to him right now. Relax. 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 We're taking a beating. Come on. What's going on? We need to win more rounds. We gotta do something. Garcia's bounce is back in his step. Start of a new round coming off of a round in which he really took some punishment. him holding on <laughs> 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 
Magnifico is just a completely different fighter now. I mean, he was stunned earlier in this fight, and since then, there's just more of a defensive disposition to him. Yeah, and the important thing right now is that sooner or later, and I think it's going to be sooner, his opponent's going to see the same thing, and he's not going to stay away. He's going to get more Keep aggressive. Keep moving! Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Davis is hurt Take from that. Get out of there. Hey, I know he's not in great shape, Get but he's doing there. a very good job now all of a sudden of defending himself. Garcia's damage. Can you believe this? Each man has hurt the other. Magnifico's ruined with that punch right there. Thunder's just trying to create some room right here. He wants to land another big shot like the one that hurt him moments ago. Yeah, he's looking to push him at a distance where he can get full extension on his punches. Now it's up to his opponent to go under one of those shots and pull it on him. Davis is hurt by a big shot. Hey, keep fighting! Let's go! <laughs> Thunders damaged by a right hand. Davis's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Three minutes gone by in this round. You're throwing punches, but your hands are down. Are you good? Focus now. Focus. I really want to hold it. Hold Yeah. How you doing? You keep your hands up. Don't worry now, right? I just I need you to focus and keep your hands up. Keep working the jab. Okay. Well, it's early on, but already a commanding lead. Banking rounds away on Teddy's scorecard, up three rounds to zip. Top lands flush. Thunder's effort has been admirable, but I don't think he's. Davis is rocked by that punch. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And he just holds on there. Magnifico's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. He just missed that shot up top. Yes, yourself. Garcia's hit flush by a right hand. Now lay it on. Uh. 
Great hook to the head that time. That was not well targeted by Davis. Hold your head! Levante la cabeza! Uppercut! Uppercut! He scored well after being hit himself. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Hard to believe that they can keep up like that. One of those rounds that you just won't forget. Both guys able to land big punches on the other. Well, in the old days, they've been snapping one of those capsules under their nose, you know, smelling salt, ammonia capsules. Not allowed anymore. They want to wake them up, get them together. Now you got to dump a little water on them, send them out. Hey, listen. He's going to come forward this round. Keep that yab moving. Keep him away from him, all right? Garcia's recovered nicely here. The start of this round, and he is proving to me at least that what happened in that last round is having no effect on this round. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good. Now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't throwing back. He got a little lax, and he paid a price. Garcia's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Magnifico's putting on a show here, defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes, he's creating opportunities, holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss. Solid shot, the left hand came in. Right to the belt line. Nice work, the left hand to the head. And he engages in the clinch. Up your head, kid. Halfway into round number five here. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. can just tell that he's lacking that jab there. He just hasn't committed to throwing it at all. I mean, that's the most basic thing in the world is to use that jab. That jab does so many things for you. Keeps the guy defensive, and obviously it sets up your offense. Davis has got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Thunder's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Ten clicks of the talk. Thunder swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. So as that round ends, it gives us pause to realize what has just taken place. And that is, we have one man who just separated himself from the other. He was able to stun his opponent, and you got to think good things are coming. Well, they've been coming for a while because I really think that those punches are a benefit from a couple rounds ago. He's been hitting with a lot of punches, and I think it's starting to right, take breathe. its toll, and you breath. saw it Deep there. Breath. Get some water in here. We got it. You're good. You all right? You're okay, right? Breathe for me. All right. Now listen, he threw a wide punch and he caught you. 
You know, tighten up your punches, all right? Garcia's off to a fresh start right now. That last round, he was really shook up, but he looks to be steady on his feet here. Davis. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Good block by Garcia. Get in there! Get in there! Magnificos! Dazed after that punch. Thunder's in a much better place now. This is a good comeback. I wonder if he can come all the way back in this fight. Why not? And just grabbing on to his opponent. Punch, punch. Get after him. Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Halfway through this round. Thunder's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. It's okay. Pay him back. Oh, and they decide to trade there. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. And round six comes to an end. Magnificos well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. Over the hump, the back end of the fight now begins. Thunder's got to be asking himself, at least his corner's got to be asking, can this go on like this? Can we continue to work at this work rate, throwing this many punches, and be this ineffective? So if he was a painter, he definitely wouldn't be Rembrandt because, you know, they're not clean strokes. They're not strokes that, you know, you look at them and they're paying off for them. I mean, he's more like doing finger paints. I mean, he's just throwing stuff at that canvas, and it's not looking real pretty right now. Keep moving! Keep moving! Let's go, hit him. Comes right back at him with a left hand. <laughs> Garcia's punch is far off the target. How about that left hand? Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. Davis is well off the mark that time. Yeah. 
halfway through the seventh round. Davis is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Protecting his head well with his guard. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Magnifico's now showing off what he probably worked very hard on in the gym. You can see that the effective footwork, the movement, is making for this to be a fairly easy round for him. Teddy, what kind of training regimen do you put a guy through to develop this skill? Well, what you do is you have him work on defense. Sometimes I'll put a fighter in a ring to spa, and I won't let him throw punches back. I'll make him just make the guy miss. Just use his legs. Focus, use his That's a big right hand. Oh! He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Kenny survives the round. One, two, three, four, five. Davis is rising back up. That takes some guts. Thunder's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. And round seven comes to an end. When he throws first, he's able to set that power shot. I need you to keep moving this round. Stay on your feet. You don't need that. I'll throw that away. I don't know what to say. Just, 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 just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, it's nice work. Here we are in round number eight. A look at Teddy's scorecard, and you can see Magnifico's game plan has been applied to perfection. Yeah, it definitely has. He's been using that jab. You know, he's been taking care of offense, defense, crossing the T's, dotting the I's. Now all he has to do is make sure he doesn't fall asleep. Davis's recuperative abilities being tested to the limit here. Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now, we talk about the fighter, but it's important right now for the corner, for the referee, for the doctor to know that he does have those kind of recuperative powers. So they give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the ref gives him a little more time than he gives somebody else. Off the target by Davis. <laughs> Davis's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. to improve that accuracy miss with the headshot 90 seconds to go halfway through round eight keep moving keep moving hey gotta see that come in let's go he took a shot but he came back with a right hand of his own Magnifico's timing with his head movement has been ideal. We have not seen his opponent being able to land anything clean up top tonight. No, because his opponent is not making the proper adjustments. You know, when the head is moving, the body's still there. You can't catch the head. Go downstairs to the body. You paralyze that head. You start to take that movement away. Before you know it, the guy's not quite as elusive. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. <laughs> Takes one 
but gives one. Good work by Davis. Last 10 seconds. We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. Fight. I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? You got that? You have to take a risk. You need to cover up more, okay? You need Another round underway, but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stoppage. Nice block by Garcia. Uppercut. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Magnifico's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. <laughs> Davis has got no chance of keeping his opponent off balance. None at all, because he's not moving at all. Maybe he doesn't want to, you know guys start to deteriorate not just physically outside but inside maybe he's given up already and maybe he doesn't want to fall down he knows everybody's going to see that but maybe this is his way of getting out of there he knows the ref's going to stop him Precise at all by Garcia. that punch by Davis. Keep moving! Keep moving! Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. He's working the body. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. That last round was a great example of the game plan by Magnifico. They want to see clean and effective punching, just landing flush. They got it. Yeah, a lot on the back end. You know, he was stepping out, doing a lot of counter punching, allowing his opponent to do some of his work for him. Come in a little reckless and nail him. Just keep working and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Just don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. As another round gets underway, it gets us thinking how much more of this will we see. Hard to envision this fight going the distance with how lopsided it's been.
not able to land the headshot. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Halfway through round 10. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Magnifico. Able to dismiss that body shot. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Davis is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. Davis's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Okay, breathe now. Deep breath, deep breath. Holy shit, you are in control of this fight, man. Here you go. I need combinations together. You understand? It's not like this guy is doing a whole You got to work. You got to be first in there. You have to be first in there, okay? You have to start loading up. Thunder's in a tough spot right here. It's up to him now to get desperate and to just want it. Round number 11, he's trailing on your scorecards by a wide margin. Now your life's come down to minutes. All the hours, all the months, all the years that you put into this sport, it comes down to minutes now. Nice block by Garcia. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. seconds to go in this 11th round. Davis's effort has gone downhill here. You can tell that he does not have the energy necessary to stay in this fight. Yeah, but now it's up to his opponent. Does his opponent have the will and the desire to get him? Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, boxing is a funny business. It's a metaphor for life. You know, sometimes you have somebody outside and they don't say what they want to say. They have to have a drink, a little alcohol to start saying the things that are on their mind. Sometimes a fight is no different. You know, he gets hurt and now all of a sudden all his inhibitions are gone. And now he's doing all the things he's supposed to do because he's not thinking about anything except the things he should have been thinking about. It's automatic. Uppercut. 
Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Some water. You're good. You're okay. Breathe for now. Now listen. You, you threw a white punch and he caught you. This is it. Last round. No need to get into a brawl with this guy, okay? That's what he wants. Don't don't give it away. It's almost done. You had him that round. You're in control. And they have reached the 12th and final round. Keep your hands up. That's a good block by Davis. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. I see it. Blocks it away. Blocks that punch. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Don't let him get to you, kid. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Nice defense. Good block by Davis. Go, go. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Ties up on the inside. Miss the body shot. Move your head. Gets rid of that body shot. home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. Garcia's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Final bell of what was a one-sided outing. Well, this one is easy to score. At least it should be. Let's hear how the judges had it. We send it up to the ring. Garcia's dominating performance gets the payoff with the decision, a unanimous decision. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. It was an easy one to score. I mean, he did it fundamentally well. It wasn't just with talent. He did it with the jab. He did it with control and range, going to the body. Great night. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.